Hi everyone, welcome to Next Day Solar. Today we're here at the HQ of Lola's Cupcakes. Behind me I have a kiosk and we're gonna transform that kiosk to be 100% of grid. To make this kiosk fully independent, we're gonna mount two solar panels of 405 watts each on the roof and that will charge two batteries of 2.7 kilowatts each. Eric and David are running the cable from the roof to the location where we're gonna be placing the inverter. And here we have actually the two batteries and we have a smaller battery that we're gonna be introducing later on. And that battery is actually a 1.2 kilowatt battery. From the two batteries, we're gonna be using a 25 mil DC cabling to the bus bar. And then from the bus bar, we're gonna be using a 50 mil DC cabling to the inverter. So we are going to be connecting the batteries in series to the bus bar. And the reason why we're doing that is actually the inverter is a 24 volt inverter and the batteries are 12 volt each battery. So to step up the voltage, we're going to be connecting Just them in series. We are really, really a bit tight on the space here. So we've selected two large batteries and two small batteries that we'll be adding in the future. But for the moment, we have two large batteries and those two large batteries fit right in the space. And we are going to be running these uh, two cables, one from the positive and one from the negative. Those two cables are actually the same length, both of them, and uh, they would go from the battery to the bus bar. So Eric is actually right now uh, screwing the bus bar here inside and we're gonna mount them in a way where they're not gonna be accessible by people and it's gonna be safe to operate. David here is actually uh, fitting a new fuse board that will include the PV and that's gonna be the PV fuse board. And then we're gonna also have a second uh, fuse board that is located this area. Because of the previous system being separated in two fuse board, we are still maintaining that. And so it's purely to, to manage the, the, the power and, and, and to share the load. Hi, so we're on the roof. Are we installing a flat uh, roof system? If you want to have a look around. So we've actually installed three support rails. One, two, and three. And that's because there's a bit of a dip in the roof and the structure of the outside of the roof is the strongest part. And then we've got these flat grid system. And we'll be installing two solar panels, two 405 watt panels uh, facing due south there. And also the kiosk is going to be moved around quite a bit sometimes. So we're going to keep things loose so that if we move to a new location, the kiosk changes, we always want to be facing due south and be able to move the brackets around accordingly. So that's what we've done. We've prepared the roof, make sure the roof's watertight, and we'll show you the rest of the job inside. We're fitting a Victron Easy Solar 2 GX device, which is gonna manage the system and also work well with our batteries. If we ever do manage to plug in the kiosk, uh, we are able to effectively use the energy that we've got in the battery if we want to first, and then use the grid, and use the grid to charge the batteries if the batteries are low. So the Easy Solar is a really good way of doing that. We just installed two panels. There isn't a great deal of space, but we're maximizing it to the extent. It's not a grid-tied system to AC, so we can afford to break a few rules when it comes to not safety, but when it comes to uh, requirements on the roof. So MCS guidelines must be 50 centimeters. Here we don't need to. You've got your two panels, crossbar section, panels are wired in series, into a waterproof box here. And then this is all your bracketry. And we've added this. Normally you would just balance this down um, with this rubber pad underneath, and the rubber pad underneath stops, stops it moving we've created this alloy frame to do that too. And then we've got some space at the back here to add some ballast to it as well. So it's looking good. We'll start to get the panels on and go from there. And that's how we are so far. So we've got the lithium batteries sat there. That's actually under the fridge. Uh, they're wired up to a bus bar here. Um, you've got a slightly smaller cable coming from the batteries and a slightly larger cable coming from the batteries to the inverter. That's because uh, there will be two sets of uh, parallel series batteries. So two batteries up into series and then another set up into series as well. So that's why we've got a slightly thicker cable. It's rated it to 50 mil core cable. That comes down to 300 amp fuse, which is specified by Victron into an isolator. So if you need to shut the batteries off, you can. That's our DC isolator running up from the roof. We prepared the ends ready to connect into the easy solar charge controller taking the box off so we're effectively going to have an ac in an ac out dc and solar 
and then any other digital connections we have. So we'll carry on wiring that, uh, get this box in place and then move on. So we spoke about the big batteries which we've actually got wired in now which are running it. Um, sadly, this company, Ecotree Lithium, are waiting for a delivery on these smaller batteries. And as I said, we had them in stock. This is 100 amp hour, 12 volt, to so about 1200 watt hours of energy. So what I'm simply doing is getting all the cables ready, because it'd be easier to do this on site here. And when the battery comes to the site, wire it up. So I'm actually putting them in a safe box, nice protective box. All the connections are ready. Wiring them into the bus bar, sealed away, because it'll be much harder when the unit's ready. Push them away, and when the batteries come, simply open the boxes, connect them on, and off we go. So that's just the next step and what we're up to now. So I'm just connecting up the AC incomer into the main switchboard. This is in case we manage to find an external source of power for the cart. Uh, so we will plug into an external AC source and that comes in direct to the main switch which has an earth monitoring uh, point on it just in case the external supply was to lose the earth. From there we go into the inverter and that then can distribute to the cart. So right now we're going to do the RCB test. Welcome back everyone, we are now here in Spitalfield and we've managed to get our kiosk uh, here safely and also and as you can see behind me the kiosk is fully powered by solar energy and there is nothing, no cables going in, it's completely off grid and the devices that are powered here are uh, the lights, the fridge, uh, heater and uh, the till and we also have the backup, our adventure power box powering the till in case of a system failure and as you can see it's open for business and we're very happy that we've done that and we have now here 8 kilowatt hour battery storage even on a cloudy day we're getting 118 watts the batteries are charged at 95.9 percent we're drawing a load of 329 watts and overall we've also included a smart shunt for us to see how much we're drawing at any case in case of uh, not being connected to the network if we can still see it through the bluetooth what's happening and inside of the kiosk Thank you very much for being this journey with us. We had a lot of fun converting this kiosk. Click on the link below if you want to see how this kiosk is performing. Bye.